You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This past year has brought CNA's Certified Nursing Assistants to the forefront of healthcare and public view after decades of working in the shadows of others. The viral pandemic has made so many understand the importance of the skills CNAs provide. It is very sad to me that it took this deadly coronavirus to make so many in this country understand the critical contributions CNAs make to the healthcare team. We here at NACA have always believed in CNAs, their skills, and the value of their work and contributions. For more than 25 years, we have made it our mission to see CNAs recognized as the professionals they are and recognized for their work. This segment, CNA Heroes, was born out of that desire to honor our nation's CNAs. Danielle Hardesty, a 39-year-old CNA from Iowa, worked at the Veterans Hospital in Des Moines. Through high school and even after, she worked with physically challenged adults. She became a CNA in 2007, and she worked in several nursing homes before landing her dream job at the Veterans Hospital in Des Moines. She worked to make sure people were cared for, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. She would do anything for anyone who needed a helping hand. Danielle had a shining soul that could help anyone who felt out of place fit right in. She had plans to return to school to get her RN degree, and she took great pride in her work as a CNA. Just recently, her fellow teammates and coworkers at the Veterans Hospital elected Danielle to receive the Service of Excellence Award because of her hard work and dedication. However, before she could receive the accolades in that award that she so deserved, she was killed in an automobile accident. On February 2nd, 2021, at 9.39 p.m., Danielle was driving south of Perry, Iowa, with her seven-year-old son in the back seat, buckled up and in his car seat. An intoxicated driver crossed the center line and hit her head on. Danielle died at the scene. Her seven-year-old son survived, but with massive injuries, including a fractured skull, two broken legs, internal bruising on his liver and lungs, and multiple lacerations. Danielle's friend and coworker, Sarah Kephart, states, Danielle had been a coworker of mine since she started at the VA hospital in 2016. She was one of the best CNAs I've had the pleasure of working with. She gave her all to the veterans she took care of. In addition to Danielle's seven-year-old son that was injured, she is survived by a 13-year-old son who was not in the vehicle at the time of the accident. Danielle was a proud mother devoted to her sons. Danielle will be laid to rest on February 27th. This is a huge loss for her family and her friends, and especially the veterans she so lovingly cared for. This CNA, who was full of joy, always finding beauty in the things around her, was stolen from her loved ones by an intoxicated driver without a license and 22 prior DUI citations. Please hold Danielle's family and friends in your heart and her injured seven-year-old son 
who has multiple surgeries ahead of him. Danielle, you did not make it to receive your Service of Excellence Award given by your peers for your dedicated and compassionate work, but we here at NACA and CNA TV are recognizing you today for your contributions to those in need. I'm sure the VA hospital in Des Moines is feeling your loss and is missing your bright spirit. Everyone, please join me today in honoring the life and service of Danielle Hardesty, CNA hero.